right now we have some crazy stuff that's going on right now we have people who are intentionally agitating these riots right now the mask is off see the mask was on that many of these people who are at these protests were afraid of the coronavirus that's out the window i'm looking to see what's going to happen in about two weeks i am looking to see what's happening because people are pissed off. People are really, really wilding out. They burned down the Popeye's chicken joint. What does that have to do with the death of George Floyd? People have unaddressed, unmitigated anger and the mask is off of the facade. One of the things, <clears throat> one of the things that I've been looking at and you can Google it, there are piles of bricks left in the riot areas. Who's doing that? I'm gonna tell you, there is somebody or some bodies, another organization that is trying to benefit from this social unrest and they're trying, they're ages of agitation. They're making it worse than it is. I was watching this video of this girl and she was addressing white people who were spray painting businesses and she's like, why are you doing that? All they're going to do is blame us. And you have all of these agents of agitation. You have all of these people out here who are stirring the pot. And it ain't just here in America. It's literally all over the world. They're doing the same thing in London. I feel that we have another group here in America. Well, literally worldwide that has an agenda and the agenda is total and absolute destruction. They want to see cities burn. They want to see people harmed. Here in Atlanta, not too far from where I live, a guy was in his car, he got shot last night. People are dying, cops are dying. You know what this reminds me of? The purge, where all of the people have all of this pent up anger, pent up unaddressed grievances, and they are like letting it out. I'm here to tell you that what you're seeing is not about George Floyd. The violence, the burning of cities, the wilding out, that has nothing to do with George Floyd. That has everything to do with this other agenda. Because like literally I've seen video after video, it's like, what are these bricks doing here? Who put these bricks here? Essentially trying to prime the pipe of agitation. Let me give you my thoughts on this. People have been home for about two going on three months. They've been not working. They've been stressed out. Some people have money due to unemployment and the additional $600. Uh, some people have not even gotten their unemployment. Right now, no one knows what's going to happen for the future. These people are stressed. And it, it, it doesn't take that much. But my big concern is this organization, because it is an organization. They have coordination, they have a leadership structure, and they have money. Because for all of these bricks to show up in all of these cities, you know how fast they had to deploy that? They like had to go through their chain of command, like, okay, put these bricks here, here, here. This was already organized. They were already ready for this. They were already set up for this. And I don't think it's going to end anytime soon. The mask is off. Right now, America is soul searching. America's looking for some stuff because Germany has unemployment of just 5%. See, their leadership prepared them for this thing. Our leadership failed us and people are starting to see that. People are starting to go, where are the leaders? Where are the people who are supposed to protect us? Where, where's the guidance? Trump hiding in his bunker because they were protesting up in DC. This unmitigated anger, this unmitigated change in the mental of the average American, because I've just watched these videos. 
I see cop cars burning. I see buildings burning. I see all of this pure chaos. And what's going to stop it? Leadership. And you're going to have to have someone who's going to come out and talk to the people on some real levels. I understand that you lost your job. I understand that you're three months behind on your car payments. I understand that you are hurting. It's going to take that kind of leadership to stop this stuff. But what do we have? We have the Gestapo, the Gestapo. We have the National Guard. I saw a video where the police, New York police, were literally just running people over. Walking around, pushing people around, just like thugs and bullies. They were not serving and protecting. They were agents of agitation. We have so many agents of agitation who are not looking to make this thing better. That, that's not even on the agenda. We want to see as much burn as much happens as, you know, we want to see the naked face of America. And that's what we're seeing. And it's starting to be exported around the world. We're, we're having riots like in London and other countries and people are fed up. People are tired. But see, it ain't the people that's doing all this rioting and looting. It's these agents of agitation. Because, you know, the first video I saw, like, who put these bricks here? You, you, you have to understand how diabolical a mind that would place bricks at a flashpoint in hope for carnage and destruction. You have to understand how evil that mind is. Where women are being punched and bullied and kicked in these crowds. Dudes, like I, I saw a video where there was one car that was allowed to pass, there was white women in it, and another car that had two black males in it, they tased them and they knocked out their windows. I think that happened here in Atlanta. People, if you don't need to be out, don't be out. It's like the purge. After 9 p.m., it's the, it's the bewitching hour. People are doing whatever. And we, we will get past this. I don't know when, but we will get past this and things will go back to some sense of normalcy. Whatever normal is during this time of the murder hornet, whatever normal is. But I want you to understand everything that you're seeing on television, these riots, these lootings, it is being instigated. This is not a natural organic movement. This is something that is being stirred up by some organization. I don't know the name of the organization. I don't know who it is, but there is clear. There is a third hand stirring the pot. And I don't know what their agenda is. I have no clue. Every day I sit there and I watch this madness and I see people out in the streets like the protesters are peaceful. But these agents of agitation, they're throwing rocks at the cops. And all it takes is just one flashpoint and then the whole thing falls apart. This is what's happening. People are tense. People are scared. People are living on edge. People are broke. And we've got this going on. We've got this situation going on. And it makes my heart weep to see such damage and carnage. People are dying. People are being shot. People are being beaten. People are having their skulls crushed. So like, like I said, if you're watching this video and you're in the city and there's protests, keep your, stay home. Don't go out, stay home because you can become a casualty just by being out, minding your business. There was this woman who was walking home from the grocery store. The police shot her with some kind of rubber projectile, messed her face up. She was bleeding all over. She was just walking home from the store. Stay home. Don't be out here in this mess because I feel that it's going to get worse. I feel 
that this third hand, this third organization that's stirring the pot has a diabolical agenda to see America burn. And many cities are on fire right now. They're burning. And what you can do is the self-preservation of self and say, I will not participate in this madness. If you want to protest, that's all well and good. But the looting, the destruction of property, the setting stuff on fire, the stealing, like literally someone sent me a Facebook page, someone stole a forklift. It's like the purge, man. It is the craziest, craziest thing going on. But, you know, this message, stay home. Do not be out there participating in this stuff because you could become a casualty just being out there. Because this third organization, I don't know their name. I don't know their purpose. I don't know their agenda. Well, their agenda seems to be hell bent on destruction. Their agenda seems to be about absolute chaos. That seems to be their agenda. And you could get caught up. I know it's curious because there was this one girl, she took her phone and she was up in Philly and she was just out there filming and stuff. Don't even do that. Because see, you could be out there filming and just somebody could just come and bash you in the back of your head. Because you don't know who's a protester. You don't know who's an agent of change, an agent of agitation. Uh, I am seeing many, many posts where I like, I haven't done the research. I don't know if this is true, but there's these groups who are literally looking for people on Craigslist. I don't know if that's true, but based upon what I've seen, it's plausible. It's plausible. I think the uh, mayor of Minneapolis who said that everyone that was arrested was from out of town. It's not the homegrown people who are doing this damage. It's these agents of change. What is their intent? What is their purpose? Why they're out there? Why they're striking now? Right now, we have a crisis. We have a health crisis because here's something else. Because I'm like, some of these people were afraid to go outside their home two weeks ago. George Floyd is dead. He's murdered. There was just no reason for that cop to have his knee on them, upon that man's neck. There was no reason. The man was down. He was in handcuffs. That was just beyond reason. He did it intentionally. He should be getting charged with first degree murder because that was intentional. That was not an accident. It just didn't happen. That was a willful act. And all of the other cops who were just sitting around, they should be arrested as well. But once again, this is past George Floyd. This is way past George Floyd. This is pent up anger. This is aggression. This is people who are upset. And they are easily influenced because you can have someone out there who's being a protester and then all it, all it takes is just a few agents of agitation, just a handful. And they can turn this crowd, this peaceful crowd, violent. I'm seeing all kinds of stuff on social media. It is painful to watch. You see cops tearing up their own cars to blame it on the protesters. Those are agents of agitation. Those aren't good cops. Those are bad cops. Those are the people who killed George Floyd. Those are the people who will take someone who's poor and impoverished and do something bad to them. So what's the answer? First of all, you, America, you need to get your own agenda because either you're going to have your own agenda or someone's going to make you part of their agenda. Because right now you're pissed off. You're mad. You're upset, you're scared. You don't know what's gonna happen in the future. Right now, the Senate is back in session and they're not looking to put out any more stimulus. I've said that on this channel before. I don't think there will be a second check. 
and they've almost almost confirmed there will not be a second check. They don't want to do it. And if you look at the economies around the world, like Germany, you, they, their unemployment isn't as high as ours. You got to ask yourself why. I'm going to give you a theory. I said in the other video, there cannot be two Americas on this planet. There cannot be two economies like this. And I know there are many people who disagree with me because you have American pride. I understand, you know, America's the greatest country in the world. You can do things here. You can do no other land. China is about, is really close. I'd say in five years, the way things are going, that China will be the number one economy in the world. You can't. I feel that this was done intentionally because you can't have two Americas in the world. So we're intentionally being downgraded. Our lifestyles, lifestyles are being downgraded. The American way is being downgraded. We will still be a rich country. We just won't be the richest country on the world because you just can't have two Americas consuming so much of the world's resources. You, you, it just, it's implausible. And I feel that this was some third, some third organization's agenda to crush America. And many people are buying into it because if you're one of these folks who is out here protesting and the next thing you know, a flashpoint hit, then the next thing you know, you are looting, rioting, setting stuff on fire. Ask yourself, why are you doing this? You just got caught up. Right now, this is a global reset. This is something I've talked about before. And I am 100% sure that we're undergoing a global reset. The chess pieces on the board are moving and changing positions. And America is being moved to second. I don't think we'll be third. I think we'll be second. And our lifestyles are going to change. Take millennials, the largest demographic in America. 75% of them are poor and 75% of them have high student loan debt. Was this an accident or was it done intentionally? Because many millennials have accepted their plight in life. I'm going to work this crap job. I'm going to barely make it. I'm going to live with a bunch of roommates. They've accepted that. And now the conditioning, the reprogramming is to get most of America to accept a lower standard of living. That's what's going on right now. You're being programmed to accept a lower standard of living. Now the rich people and the super rich and the first person that's going to become a trillionaire, they're not going to be part of that. They're going to live lavish lifestyles. It's going to be, you're going to see some stuff. You, you think the rich kids of Instagram was, was, was an eye opening thing. You ain't seen nothing yet. These people are going to have mega yachts, mega mansions, mega lifestyles, and you're going to be with your face pressed against the glass, just looking. You're going to be observing from the outside, wanting and desiring. This is a global reset. And I feel that Trump, yes, you know, Trump, y'all, he's part of it. I want you to look at the leadership. I want you to go ahead and Google the uh, economy in Germany, the economy in Sweden, the economy in the UK. I want you to go ahead and Google that. Don't take my words for it. Google it and see how they're weathering this much better than we are. This was done intentionally. I mean, I'm just firmly convinced that this was a plan. And George Floyd was just a fuse. So what, what is one to do? I mentioned earlier that you should have your own agenda. You should. If you want to protest, if you want to stand up there, I understand that, that that's something that's pulling on a lot of people's hearts to be out there protesting. You know, the injustice was so great. I understand that. But in addition to protesting, you need to have an economic agenda of your own. 
because that's the only thing that's going to save you. Like, I understand a lot of people don't like to talk about money and you want to talk about lives and stuff. Like, right now, we've got COVID-19 out here and y'all out there wilding out. Like, there ain't no COVID-19. And like, what's that? I'm out here in the streets. I'm curious to what's going on. I'm protesting. I'm, I'm part of this collective. Y'all act like there ain't no COVID-19. In two weeks, it's going to be real interesting to see what the infection rates do. Because people are out. And they're out in the no man hours. My aunt used to say, there ain't nothing that, there ain't nothing that good that happens between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. Well, you know, based upon what we're seeing, this is really true because there's just all kinds of dastardly bad stuff happening. But America, you're going to have to get your own economic agenda. You're going to have to become a founder. You're going to have to start building. You're going to have to start managing your money because you're going to be part of that left behind class. If you just are prey to your instincts, if you get called out upon just being out here doing whatever, it's looting. I never understood the purpose of looting. I've never done it. I've never been part of an organization. I've never been part of a collective like that. So I don't know what that's about. I don't understand why you would go and set this business on fire. See, you're not hurting the people who killed George Floyd. See, I would have greater understanding that if these roaming mobs went to the cop's house and set his house on fire. Like, you know, I can understand setting the police station on fire. That, that makes sense based upon the narrative. I, I can understand that. But what did Popeyes do to you? What did JC Penney's do to you? Nothing. You're harming innocent people. This is part of this agenda by this third organization that's stirring the pot to bring America down. I've talked about this. I've talked about this before. I said the economy was not as strong as you were led to believe. And this COVID-19 thing revealed that I was 100% correct. It literally fell apart in two months. If it was as strong as we were, were led to believe, it wouldn't have fallen apart so quick. You have all of these businesses going out of business. And these riots are not helping. They're making things worse. Hence, this organization, this secret organization that's stirring the pot, that's leaving bricks in all these riot zones. I don't know what their agenda is, but it's not good. And you're gonna have to resist. You're gonna have to pull back. You're gonna have to hold the line because America, you're being bamboozled right now. You're being led astray. You're being tricked. You're being hoodwinked because these agents of agitation, their purpose is becoming clear that they're bent on destruction and chaos. They're not built on rebuilding America or making the America great. They're not, that's not part, that's not their agenda. And if you're not careful, you will be used as a pawn in their agenda. So this is why you got to get your own agenda. This is why you've got to be focused. This is why you got to have a purpose. Because if you don't have a purpose, you're going to fall for anything and you get caught up in this mess. I mean, there's a lot of good people out there who are being brainwashed, who are being put into harm's way. Don't be one of those people. Resist the agenda. Resist this third organ, this, this secret organization that's doing all of these things. Resist, resist, resist. And for those of you who want to work on your agenda, because I'm here to tell you, what I see in the next two to three years is gonna be real bad unless you take action now. And I have a course that I'm working on and I'm gonna do another live webinar. It's gonna be how to retrain yourself, how to eradicate bad habits. The first webinar is already there, so you can go ahead and check that out. And I will give you a 50% off discount 
just go below, click the link, get in the course, and I'm gonna start training you because I went through something similar. There was no pandemic, there was no George Floyd murder, but I know what it takes to go from economically bad to economically good. And I'm here to tell you the journey is not, let, let's just go ahead and dispense with it. It ain't gonna be easy because you have been trained, you've been programmed for bullshit and you gotta reprogram yourself. And I will lead the way, I will provide you guidance, I will help you out, but you gotta be ready. You gotta be ready to put in the work because it ain't gonna be easy because you, this is one of the reasons that so many of you are caught up by this secret organization because they understand programming. Ultra, MK, they understand this. They know how the human mind works. They know how to make you do things that you normally would not do. So it's up to you to reprogram yourself. It's up to you to begin creating your personal agenda and then indoctrinate your family. Because what's about to happen with this global reset? Five years, China could be the number one economy in the world. And that's going to create a lot of bad juju. I could be wrong. May, may, maybe America will hold on. Maybe America will turn around. Maybe enough people will start to create their agenda and resist this secret organization that is hell bent on destruction and chaos. Maybe. But it don't, it don't look good. It don't look good. So go below, get the course, and watch this next video because it's going to help you out.